We launched an appeal at the beginning of the year of $1.6 billion, basically more or less $850 million for the core budget of the organization and about $750 million for the emergency appeal. Uh, this emergency appeal has recently been completed by an additional appeal of $16 million for the earthquake in, uh, in Syria. So we will remain within this uh, appeal. Uh, but I will, after uh, Eid, again approach uh, our donors and draw their attention about the severity of the financial situation of uh, the agency. Yeah, MOOC has been completely destroyed during... Um... Now, if we are constantly struggling financially, we, we become an unsettling partner for uh, the host countries, the communities, for the refugees, but also for our 30,000 staff. So my ask to the international community is, uh, if you want UNRWA to continue to invest in human development, but also be uh, a factor of stabilization in a highly volatile region, it's very easy to have us as a predictable partner. It's just a question of uh, providing the necessary resources and to agree on what we want to achieve. We want, for example, to achieve quality education. We want to achieve uh, a youth empowerment. We want to give a sense of prospect to hundreds of thousands uh, youth Palestinians who today are among those uh, impacted the most uh, with uh, unemployment. We have now important donor telling us uh, that their contribution to the agency. I keep saying we have to strike a balance between the right to strike, which is a legitimate right of the UNRWA staff, but there is also a right to work. We have many staff who do not necessarily agree with the reason of this strike and are willing to work. And we have also to take into consideration the right of the community to have access to basic services. 2023 will be a difficult, difficult year. I have to say that the population uh, I met has been deeply, deeply traumatized and terrorized by uh, the earthquake, and this had a huge psychosocial uh, impact on the population, in addition uh, to the loss of life, uh, or in addition also to the damages uh, on the houses. Uh, sanitation laborer will have been on strike, which means that uh, I met uh, people, refugees, who two months later, after the earthquake, were supported for the rehabilitation of their dwelling. And in fact, you should have seen the expression in, uh, in their eyes. Their life, all of a sudden, uh, had again a sense because they had the feeling that they might be able to rebuild uh, their day-to-day uh, -day livelihood in places like uh, Aineltal. And this is also giving motivation and energy for the other people who arrived without anything in, uh, in this camp. So I would say in this uh, environment of uh, distress, despair and misery, I have also seen that uh, there are elements of uh, a glimpse of uh, hope and glimpse of prospect. We have uh, decided uh, two years ago that uh, we... It's, it's extremely shocking when we go to places like uh, Yarmouk or places like uh, Ainel Tal and we see the level of destruction of, in fact, uh, of, uh, of this camp. Uh, I have been now regularly back uh, to Yarmouk over the last uh, two years uh, and each time I go back uh, I can see some uh, progress. New people are coming back. There are a number of rehabilitation going on. Obviously, reconstructing Yarmouk uh, will take uh, a long time, but there is uh, slowly life coming back uh, in uh, places like uh, Yarmouk. Uh, ...of uh, destruction. Uh, uh, what you encounter in the camp uh, is a lot of desperation, a lot of uh, distress, uh, and most of the youth I meet, I interact uh, with, uh, have only uh, one uh, dream in their head, which is uh, to leave uh, the camps, to leave the country, and even to tempt their chance, even if the journey might be a deadly journey. As you know, it's already the fourth consecutive year